Hi there, so today I'm going to be showing you how I made this pretty crinoline unique hair ruffle. It's really unique. So what you'll be making use of is your uhu gum. Then you'll be making use of this feathers. You know that I used to make fan. They call it fan feathers over here. What do you call it in your place? Then these are your plastic hat wire that we're going to be making use of. Then we're going to also be making use of this tubular crinoline. Now if you know, need to know the names of crinoline, join us in crinoline master's class. Then we're going to be making use of this bead, beads. <laughs> if I say beads, <laughs> beads. And also we'll be making use of the elastic band this type of elastic band they are um what do you call it this is kind of the thick one it's not very thin it's thick then we have our fishing line that we're also going to make use of and it's 0 0.35 millimeters i think yeah that should be it what else are we bringing out from our loads of materials okay then we need our needle of course then we're going to be doing is to shave our feathers now i call it shaving because the feathers are there but we're actually removing some of the hairs of the feathers to give it a unique look so you can actually go to the market and buy the feathers they like i think they have arrow feathers that look close to this although it's not the same thing per se but if you don't want to stress doing this then you can go get that but this is cheaper actually because you buy um two yards of this or let's say one yard i think you buy one yard for 800 now it's 1000 that's a naira anyway so you can make a lot of this so this is actually cheaper this pieces now the next thing we're going to be doing is we're going to be measuring our tubular um a tubular crinoline or you can call it pipe here it's called pipe but if you search for it online it's called tubular so i want to make it in curves like this okay that's what i'm doing so and i think this size is okay and that's 10 inches if you want to make it longer you can make 12 so i'm going to be cutting seven pieces of this so the next thing you want to do is to get your um, plastic hat wire and I'm going to be passing it through the tubular crinoline or pipe. Do let me know in the comment section what you call it in your place. Okay, so I'm going to turn it like this. Can you see how I've turned it? I'm going to turn it. Why am I wasting time? I don't know. Okay, <laughs> so I'm going to turn it like this. Can you see? So leave a little extra. And then I'm going to use my hat wire cutter. I love this hat wire cutter. But there's something you'll get to learn about this hat wire cutter and the plastic hat wire towards the end. So please don't leave the video. There's an important information you need to know. Okay, so I've cut it. The next thing I'm going to do is to sew it together. Now to sew it together, you're going to be passing it through the crinoline. It helps to sew it together and you turn it around and all that. So keep watching and learning. Now remember, we're going to be making seven of this. So ensure that you get your seven done. Now the next thing you want to do is make your beaded, um, that stuff you saw that is beaded. Now I'm going to be making use of my hat wire. Now this is the important thing I said you need to know. If you use hat wire cutter, it does the um, plastic hat wire in a way you cannot pass it through the needle, so you through the um, bead. So you must use scissors to cut it at this particular point in time. So once you're done with the scissors, the beads will go in carefully all right or rather smoothly sorry about that okay so now what i'm going to do i'm going to be beading 20 i'm putting 20 beads into the hat wire To tie the hat wire quite tricky what you do is you're going to be twisting one around the other just watch what i'm doing i hope you can see it with my hand but it's just a twist i take one part and i start twisting it around the other that's the way you can do it because if you do it the way you did the other one the other one was the crinoline that helped us to hold it together if you try to do it now nah, it was not doing anything so this was what i discovered how to do it so i just twist one part around the other 
but after i did that there's still reinforcements so just hold on so at this stage you can use your hardware cutter or since we're going to be doing more than one you use your scissors to cut the excess then you take your fishing line and just cut a little piece and i'm going to now turn it around it like so once i'm done with turning it around i will start tying it to ensure that it holds securely so keep watching and learning If you're gaining so far please do give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you feel you would love to see such things like this and click the bell button so you get notified when i upload new videos now let so we're going to be making two pieces of that the beaded um what you call it loop then the next thing i'm going to do is cut my elastic band now for my hair ruffles i cut seven inches do let me know what you use when you're making hair ruffles do let us know in the comment section below how many inches do you cut out your elastic band and let us know your reason why okay now the next thing i'm going to do is get those crinoline loops that i've made with the plastic hat wire remember i said there are seven of them so now i'm going to be sewing them all together putting them overlapping them sort of what i'm doing first of all is i'm arranging them you know when you cut out so may not be exact the same size so what i want is that for each one aside the middle one that's the middle one i've put now i'm putting the other ones in order that their sizes are the same can you see okay so that's what i'm doing so i've noted where i want to put them so that it gives me a unique finish so i'm going to start with the middle one i made the one kind of ended up being a bit longer and i'm going to take those other ones so i've arranged it at the corner there and i'm going to be overlapping just one side of the loop that's the left side of the loop with the lights the right side of the other loop like so and i'm making use of my fishing line and my needle now the reason why i'm using fishing line is because it will hide all the color of the thread do you understand so it's much easier to work with when you have to cover and all those stuff so this is what i'm going to be doing i'll take the next one like so and put on the other side overlapping okay mm -hmm. can you see like so you need to watch carefully to see how i'm doing all the overlapping okay so while we're doing the overlapping let us discuss on my crinoline masters class now i'm sure you can see i know how to manipulate crinoline i thank god for that so the crinoline class actually starts from the basics what is a crinoline what types of crinoline do we have um, if you see a crinoline design how to say that this particular thing is what is used for the crinoline how to use it to make ruffles um fascinators um hearts how to also use it to um how you can manipulate it iron it can you dye or spray it all these are what you learn in crinoline masters class so if you want to attend just check the description of this video if you click on um, the event craft academy reception the link there's a telegram link you click on it and you enter and you make your request that you would like to attend the event craft academy trust me you would love it okay so back to our um video So I think you have gotten the hand of that first one. So I'm going to do a speed run in the other side. We've done the left hand side or is it right hand side depending on when you're looking fully. So now I want to do the other side. Okay, so that means you have your middle, you put your left hand side three there and on your right hand side you put another three. Let's speed run. Next thing you want to do is take your um, beaded loops and you're going to be putting it at the two ends in the position that I put it like you can see. So I'm sewing it now for the beads you're twisting it around the beads that's how to hold it. I would show you another view so that you will be able to see it very well after I finish with this first one. Okay, I'm even turning it right now. Okay, so see where I place the second one. Now watch how you sew your thread around. You take it one side, pass it across the loop. Can you see? Like that, across the loop. 
like that that's how to hold it so you'll be doing it on the two parts do you understand i hope you got that all right if you did do say yes i got the sewing of the beaded loop <laughs> all right so we're going to do that to make sure it stands firm I'm going to just be treading everywhere so another speed run okay we'll take another break to announce the winner of our last week's challenge and remember we said seven winners but three people answered so we have ada obuzo odima yeah it's five brush classes we have chantala bozo i think you won before congratulations once more for winning again and we have the bora azike congratulations to the three of you please do check in the description below for the vent craft academy to pick up your gift now i think i was saying brush class three and i meant brush class two but you let me know which one you want to attend whether it's brush class two or brush class three so just join us in the vent craft academy and make a request for your gift now ugu amarachi you asked whether i teach online the vent craft academy it's online it runs on telegram and it's wonderful in that you go through the videos the videos are pre-recorded and explained explicitly so you go through it according to your own pace and you can ask questions and if you join the reception just the reception alone trust me you are gaining a lot before you even start paying for the classes so let's get back to today's training so the next thing we're going to do is to attach our elastic band <clears throat> and remember whenever you want to attach your elastic band excuse me you pass the thread through the alice band this ensure it sits properly after as in that it doesn't come out easily after you pass it through what you're going to be doing is taking it loops around the um, elastic band so that it holds it firmly remember to always check after your door you just tug the elastic band to ensure that it has seated properly keep watching and learning Just in case you can't find any of the materials used in making this um, unique green line hair ruffle, I would drop Amazon, AliExpress and my own links in the description of this video so you can purchase them. Now once you're done, you would notice that the edge of your um, hair ruffle is chuki chuki as it has sharp sharp points so what you do first of all is that you take scissors and you trim it up a bit be careful that you don't cut off the part that you have sewn okay so once you're done with that i was thinking in my mind what can i use to cover this and i was like oh petals and i have pink petals so i took petals and i used the uhu gum first of all to put around the places i want to put the petals and then i used the petals to cover it i didn't want to use it was the lace trimmings i wanted to use initially but i was like if i put the lace trimmings direct of course those things choking will still be choking through it and i don't want anybody using the hair ruffle to it will be choking the person no i want it to be okay you know smooth so it came about so instead of petals you can actually also use material but i think petals gave it a nice look because i could push it in corners and just hide it anywhere i can like that and then the next thing i did was to use the lace trimmings i cut them into pieces into different different roses and covered it to look very fantastic now remember we still have um what do you call it we have a challenge at the end of this video so do not go away okay yeah so this is very vital after you finish you take your fishing line and then you begin to sew those parts that you have gummed so that it attaches it firmly you know me i'm a fan of sewing i have always told you once you can sew anything sew but what you do first of all is you allow the glue to dry up first after it dries up then you can start sewing just exactly the way i'm sewing now this ensures that those places they ain't coming out anyhow they're going to remain like that perfectly sound so when i finished there was a little trimming over there little tight where i tied it it was showing there so i just used another rose to cover it like so 
then the next thing I did was to take my feathers remember the feathers and I just started attaching it the way you saw it in the YouTube thumbnail so that's what you do here now the challenge the question for today is how what was the total number of beads that we used in making this a unique crinoline hair ruffle do let me know in the comment section below and the winner gets to attend brush class four for free one winner would be selected at random now if you enjoyed this video and you gained value please do give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed click that subscribe button and the bell so you get notified when i upload new videos and check out this other queen online design